Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Nam 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 69 back with another tutorial. And this is the start of the SDL 2.0 tutorial series. Recently, in my game development fun, my personal project, what I've been doing on my own, on my own, I've been using SDL 2.0 and I've become really comfortable with it. I've been using it a lot more. I really like the new features, the way it's done things. It's, it's a lot more enjoyable than SDL 1.2 and it's a lot faster, that's what I like. It's got the uh, textures as opposed to the surfaces, so hardware rendering, it's a lot faster. So what I've been working on in my personal projects has been, it's come a long way from where it was before. And I've really enjoyed using SDL 2.0. And now I'm really comfortable with it and fairly knowledgeable with uh, what to do with it, I've started my tutorial series for SDL 2.0. And this first tutorial is just going to be setting up SDL 2.0. So first thing you need to do is you need to have, well, Visual C++ 2010, like I do. You can have, you can have your other compiler if you want using this. Um, this is going to be setting it up for Visual C++ though. So, if you want to learn how to do it on another compiler, a site I really recommend using to uh, set SDL up on other compilers is LazyFoo. LazyFoo.net. He's got a lot of great resources uh, involving SDL and some OpenGL tutorials. Very good resource. So if you've got like code blocks or dev C++ you want to set up SDL 2.0 on because that's a compiler you're more comfortable with, I would go to his site. This setup uh, will be for Visual C++ 2010, which I know a lot of people are using. So, first things first, get to Google, type in SDL 2.0. It'll take you to the uh, Simple Direct Media layer. Come down here to SDL 2.0. Development libraries, this one right here is the one you want. I already have it downloaded, so you're gonna download the zip, it'll go into your downloads, and I copied mine into my SDL folder on my desktop, and I've got uh, I've got SDL2 here. I've already got image downloaded because I've been using that in my own projects yet as well. I haven't got SDL uh, TT, uh, TTF or SDL mixture yet for SDL2. Haven't been using those too much, but I've got SDL2 in image, and I'll start using, after I go through most of SDL2s, main functions then I'll break off into the extension libraries but right now we're just focusing on SDL 2.0 anyway so you download it you extract it you get you there and then we can come into visual C++ one express and we're gonna make a new project um, we'll call it my SDL 2.0 tutorial so first things first come up here to project properties and the first thing we need to do is include our library and include directory so go to the properties configure configuration properties drop that down go to visual C++ directories um, we need to include directories so edit gonna get a make a new one there come here it's saved on my desktop SDL SDL 2 VC get my include select your include folder and go to your library edit new one come here desktop SDL SDL 2 VC that's where I've got it saved SDL2, go get your live file, x86 if you're on 64 bit, 64 if you're on 32, select it. I'm on 64 bit, so I get 86, select it. Okay, got the directories included. So now we've actually brought in all of SDL's files, but we need to be able to link to it. So first things first, we come into linker input, we're gonna edit, and it's sdl2.live and sdl2main.live. Just go ahead okay save those and then we need to come to the system subsystem and the subsystem you're gonna want to use is Windows okay so let's just run over what we did real quick within the properties I might have gone a little too fast we went to our visual C++ directories on the configuration properties we added our include directories and our library directories we came to the input we did SDL2 dot live and SDL2 main live for the additional dependencies the system we set the subsystem to Windows and that's all you need to do so come here and we will create our main cpp file so we can start programming so go ahead and include sdl.h and go ahead and int main and it is int argc char args There we have our main function set up. Go ahead and return zero. Now we want to make sure we got SDL setup property. So we're going to do SDL init, SDL init everything, everything. SDL initialize everything. And then SDL quit. As soon as we open it, we close it. 
and we will go ahead and compile it. And if you followed exactly what I did and did everything you're supposed to do, follow me like to the T. You should get no errors when you build it. Go ahead and run it. And SDL2 is it's missing from my folder, uh, the build folder. So what you're gonna want to do? Come to your live. Come here. Grab SDL2.dll. I'm gonna go to my Dropbox. C++ is where it's saved. SDL2 tutorial. Debug where it's saved. Copy your driver into where the executable is made. Forgot that. I thought I'd just grab it from the live. I'm sorry. Forgot about that step. But you're gonna want to put your driver, the driver for SDL2, in with your SDL uh, project debug folder. Come back here, and now when we hit run, it starts, runs, and closes instantly. Exactly what we want it to do. So that is how you set up SDL 2.0. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more videos like this. Next time I'll be over going over how to create a window of SDL and that's very simple. It's a little bit different from SDL 1.2 but it's still really easy which is a great thing about SDL. Simple. It's in the name. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.